So, good morning everyone. My name is Charity Montalaba, the leader of this group. So, we tackle about the genre theme painting. So, the term genre painting are also called the genre scene or petit genre is mean that picks accept of everyday life by portraying ordinary people. So, the genre painting start at the 17th century. So, the genre painting or the genre scene is the is the show figure to whom no identify can be attacked either indiv individually or collectively. Thus, distinguish petty genre from history paintings and poetry. Genre themes appear in the nearly old art tradition. Painted decoration in ancient Egyptian tombs, Satan depicts Bokeh's reaction and agrohol scene and Rekos is mentioned by the Planky at the Elder as Hellenistic. Greetings everyone, I am Sharyu Lehi and as we proceed, even if it could be seen that the artist had his no human, a member of his family say, as a model, a work would always be seen as a genre work. In this scenario, it will rely on whether the work was likely to be viewed by the artist as a portrait, often as a subjective matter. The images may be imagined or actual, and the artist can romanticize them. In Philippines, Fernando Marcelo is best known for his arts, and mostly of his arts can be said that they are genre painting. The subject of his paintings from the free ability that means the lightheartedness of the performance, there is usually someone of the desired involved in the business of being alive, a fisherman loading his boats, and many more. And that is what we call genre painting that depicts the aspects of everyday life. I'm Reynald Gregory Avellino, and this painting was made by Fernando Amorsolo, entitled Planting Rice with My Own Volcano, portrays happy Filipino villagers wearing bright clothes and straw hats working together, and at their back, there is a peaceful plume of steam coming from the volcano. The connection between the volcano and the surrounding landscape illustrates positive fruitful and harmonious, despite of the ashes erupted by the Mayon volcano decades ago, and it made the surrounding or the landscape too fertile. The cone seems to be a beneficial spirit of the earth standing guardian to villagers and crops. Together with the Mayon volcano and happy Filipino villagers, emphasizes Amor Solos to represent the spirit of the nation on the canvas. The Tinikling Dance by Francisco Marsolo. We can see in this painting is a group of people audiencing the two persons dancing over a bamboo stick in the middle of the day in the province. The Tinikling Dance painting by Francisco Marsolo is a pre representation of our famous folk dance, which is the Tinikling Dance. This painting of Marsolo is inspired when he went to his province and saw a group of people dancing and he painted using oil and canvas. This example of painting is one of the style how Filipino art artists make their art by what are they saw in the community. That's it. The Tinikling Dance of Francisco Mursolo. I'm Iro, and the title of this paint is Making of the Philippine Flag. The painting shows three women namely Marcela Marino, the Agoncillo, referred as the mother of the Philippine flag, with the help of Lorenzo and Delphine Herbosa, the Natividad, which is actually the daughter of Marcela. They was tasked by General Emilio Aguinaldo to sue the first flag for the New Republic. The clothes that the women are wearing are an older style, more vintage, and really the big the traditional styles. The skirts the women are wearing are long and their tops were like traditional kimono. The three women are sewing passionately which demonstrate elegance. The painting was not that kind of vibrant in the eyes but can set your mood in color. 